Hi guys and welcome to today's video. My name is Melissa Joyce. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about this concealer which is from Aurora Cosmetics. It was a collaboration with Ipsy. We received this in our Augie, Augie, August? August Ipsy bag. Um, and I thought I would tell you a little bit about this today, about the company, about the product, and about my thoughts on it because I have been using this for about a week now and I do have some thoughts to share. As I usually do, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the company, a little bit about the product. I am then going to actually put the product on. I have no makeup on my face right now because I wanted to apply the product and show you what I noticed from it, um, but I didn't want any foundation to sort of mess with showing the actual coverage of the concealer so i just thought i would do this with no makeup on so we can see that being applied and then i'll give you my final thoughts at the end possibly looking a little weird if i'm wearing concealer and no other makeup but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it for now if you want to watch some parts of this review but not others i will put timestamps down below so that you can watch whatever part of the video your little heart desires and let's start talking a very little bit about aurora cosmetics now I say I'm not going to talk a lot about Aurora Cosmetics because there's not a lot to say. The website is extremely basic. It's actually Aurora Cosmetics NY. Um, one of the issues that I had when I was trying to do some research on here beyond just their website is there's a lot of companies that are Aurora Cosmetics. Uh, there's a private label company, there's another cosmetics company, so it was sort of hard to distinguish which company was being talked about if I wasn't just looking at the website of the product. But the actual website has very little information on it. There is no about us, there's nothing about the founders, there's nothing about their vision or mission. It's basically here's our products, buy them. That's pretty much it. Something that is a little bit unique is some of their products. I'm not sure of all of their products because it was acting a little wonky for me. You can buy through Amazon. So if you are somebody who has Amazon Prime or does orders, you can get some of their products without having to pay shipping through their website because you can get it through Amazon. I was not able to find them through Amazon.ca um, when I was trying to search for Aurora Cosmetics. I'm not sure if Canadians can do that, but in the States you can. This is an inexpensive brand. Pretty much all of the products that you find on here, lip products, this product, um, eye pencils, anything like that are going to be in the like six to seven to eight dollar range. I think there's like a uh, highlighting contour palette that might be a bit more expensive, but it's pretty inexpensive. And in fact, really the only thing that's on their website other than just going and buying the products is something that they called Aurora 24-7, which doesn't seem to be available right now, but it appears to be a subscription service where you pay $24 and get seven Aurora products, and that makes it $3.50 per product, which is incredibly inexpensive for cosmetics. So this is an inexpensive brand. As far as the range of products that you will find in Aurora Cosmetics, there's a lot of nail polishes. So there's a huge section of nail polishes, all kinds of different colors. When you get into the cosmetic section, it's very spotty. So there's some eye pencils, there doesn't seem to be eyeshadow as far as I could tell. Uh, there were lip products, there was like a primer, but yeah, not a lot of other stuff. This is sort of the only skin product that they have. And when I say that, I mean, they don't seem to have powders or foundations. Um, this was sort of the only thing that would have sort of a shade range that would need to match a complexion. Um, and I couldn't tell because I wasn't able to research much if that's because they're a new company or just because they choose not to do those products. They are cruelty free and beyond that, that is all I can tell you about the company. So let's start talking about this product. This is the Pro Cover Up Concealer. This one specifically was done in combination with Ipsy. Um, now it is a trial size, but I don't know why somebody would do something with the Ipsy logo on it because a lot of cosmetics we get in Ipsy are trial size, but they don't say Ipsy on it. Uh, in any case, this is smaller than the actual product that you would get. Um, when I first received this, uh, I went through a whole emotional journey, not emotional, that's being dramatic. I went through a whole journey with this product because I really did see this and think that it was going to be too dark for me. I obviously have a really <laughs> different idea of what my skin color is as compared to what it is because as I'll show later this ended up being fine. Um, 
but this is made in Italy. This is also cruelty free. And this is what the company says about the product. They describe it as being richly colored. They say it corrects contour, highlights and perfects and that it's a creamy texture with a matte finish. There are actually 12 shades of this, but that doesn't mean that they are all skin tone shades because in addition to having um, concealer shades, they also have color correcting shades. So you will see like greens and pinks and yellows in there too. So they do have the um, pictures right here of the colors. And what I would say is that the, their color chart on here is completely off of what the product is. All of these are so dark looking and this is actually quite light. So it's hard to tell what color you're going to get from the color swatches that they have online. The full size of this product, which I was actually not able to find how big a full size product is, is $8. So again, it is an inexpensive product. That is everything to say about the product. So next we are going to get you zoomed in and I am going to show you me applying this product combined with some of my thoughts. So in here, you do get a little doe foot applicator which is totally fine. What I'm going to do is do two things. I'm going to sort of put some on my forehead because I often get red right there and I don't mind using a little bit to um, cover up. And I'm sorry if I seem to be going in and out with the blurring filter. I have turned it off as far as I can tell and yet it still seems to be doing it. So I apologize. I will keep playing around with it as much as I can. So I'm going to do a little sort of V right there. And then I'm also going to apply some under my eyes. So I'm gonna start with that much. I don't tend to do a big triangle highlight thing. So I'm gonna start there and blend out the under eye concealer to show you some of what I noticed. So I've blended that out it gets a little bunchy in places and then I need to blend it out, but I don't see a lot of coverage. It's like it goes on creamy and thick and then as you move it around, it dissipates and goes away. Like, yes, it did do a little bit. Um, it's quite yellow and I do find that it gets sort of like bunchy and textured in some places. And then because this is so yellow, if I put on enough that it actually covers up the circles a little bit, um, if my eyes water or anything during the day and a little bit of it wipes away, you really see the pinkness of my skin as compared to the yellowness of this highlighter. Now I've left this one on my forehead for a while because when I was first doing this, I put it under my eyes, dotted all around my face, and then was working my way around um, to blend it. And see how quickly that dries? And then when I go to blend this between my eyebrows, I'll just do this a little bit. I'm gonna zoom you in really close here. Do you see how that gets like patchy and like that's not a nice look. It's not creamy at all. It's like it became separated and as I try to move it around, it doesn't blend. It just sort of like gets streaky. and being uncomfortably close, you can also see that it didn't really do a lot in terms of coverage from this eye to this eye. Yeah, all this does is sort of look cakey and separate it while also not really covering. So when I first started trying this, I, I have to say that I'm not somebody who uses a very thick, full coverage under eye concealer. I do have bags under my eyes that are there and I have some fine lines. And my preference is something that is lighter feeling um, and isn't going to sort of crease and settle. So when I first put it on, I thought, well, it's very yellow, but then I blended it out and I thought, okay, maybe it's not so bad. It didn't seem to crease or anything, but I think the reason that it didn't crease is because I blended it away when I was blending it. And I did it this time with a finger, but I've also done it with a beauty blender, with different cosmetic sponges. And the same thing happens is it sort of moves around and disappears and where it doesn't disappear, it gets kind of cakey and bunchy looking. So 
I am gonna say for me this is a no on this concealer. Um, I find that although it is priced well, it's gonna be hard to find your color match online because their swatches aren't correct. And I just don't find it does something that's that great. There are better options at the drugstore to be able to get. Now that being said, I don't know enough about the other products in this brand. I think there are some things like certain lip products that could be really good at this price point. Concealers can be tough to nail. Um, you know, you're really looking for it to be a performance kind of product. And for other things like lipsticks, you're looking for it to be like the color and something nice. And same with nail polish. The nail polishes are also, I believe, like seven or eight dollars. Um, you know, if it lasts a few days, you know, it could be good. So I'm not saying that everything in Aurora Cosmetics is necessarily bad. I'm saying that concealers might not be their strong point because there is more that goes into it in terms of making sure that it blends, that it covers, that it lasts, and they're just sort of not nailing it on that, unfortunately. So that is my review for today. Um, I am curious to know what you thought of it. I've seen some actually good reviews for it, and I've seen some not so good reviews for it. And I think, again, this is one of those products that a lot of us received in our Ipsy bag, which is also a bit of a risk because matching skin tone is not an easy thing to do in a subscription service. My personal preference is that they stay away from that because they're not gonna hit it most of the time, like this being much too yellow for me. Um, but I'm curious about what you think. Leave me a comment. I do respond to every comment that I get. Uh, if you like this review, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, then consider subscribing. I will put my face up, which side? Here. <laughs> so click on my face right here if you've not yet subscribed yet and you can be subscribed and I will put an old video up here so you can watch one of my older videos. Which one should we do? I'm going to put up here my very ranty review of the uh, moisturizer that we received in the August Ipsy subscription. Uh, if you've not watched that, hey, go ahead and watch it and I will see you in my next review. Bye!